Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anime Shaha and I'm a clinical oncologist and today we'll be discussing about uh, immunotherapy in uh, cancer treatment. Immunotherapy is a type of cancer treatment which uses patients own immune system to fight against cancer. Immunotherapy can boost or change how our immune system will work and can find uh, can help to try to find them and attack cancer cells. So immunotherapy works in a couple of ways. Number one, stimulating or boosting the natural immune defense system of a person so that it can work harder or smarter to find out cancer cell and fight against cancer cell. Number two, uh, producing substance in lab which are similar to uh, immune system components and using them to stimulating or boosting, uh, boosting uh, how the immune system will work so that they can find and attack cancer cells. Immunotherapy has now shown promising results in various different cancer, including head and neck cancer, uh, lung cancer, breast cancer, uh, esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, liver cancer, bowel cancer, uh, kidney cancer, bladder cancer. And there are trials going on uh, for different other cancer to evaluate the rule of uh, role of immunotherapy in those cancers. There are many different types of uh, immunotherapy now being studied and researched in cancer treatment. Number one, checkpoint inhibitors. Number two, CAR T cell therapy. Number three, cytokines. Number four, immunomodulators. Number five, cancer vaccine. Number six, monoclonal antibodies. Number seven, oncolytic virus. So these are drugs which basically takes the breaks of uh, immune system so that the immune system can uh, find, uh, target and attack cancer cells. There are various types of checkpoint inhibitors. Some of the examples are Pembrolizumab, Nivolumab, Atezolizumab, Durvalumab, etc. This is a, uh, one of the latest and uh, new uh, therapy that is available for cancer patient. Here what happens, uh, this therapy takes some of the T cells from the blood of cancer patients and this T cell, these bloods are mixed with uh, a special type of virus and th that helps T cells to learn how to attach with the cancer cell and this blood goes back to the patient and now with this new T cells uh, they can attach with the tumor cells, find them and attack or kill the cancer cells. So cytokines are basically small molecules which helps to transfer uh, messages between cells. So uh, the therapy using cytokines help to stimulate the immune system so that the immune system can attack cancer cells. Uh, the example of cytokines are interleukins, interferon, which are used in treatment of kidney cancer, melanoma, Kaposi's sarcoma, etc. So immunomodulators are drugs which uh, boosts uh, part of the immune system to treat certain type of cancer. For example, uh, thalidomide, linalidomide are used to treat, used in the treatment of multiple myeloma. BCG is used for the treatment of superficial bladder cancer, etc. So, 
so vaccines are substances uh, which when given to a body uh, initiate an immune response against a certain disease when we think about vaccine we think that it is often given to healthy people to prevent some of the example but there are certain vaccines which are used not only to prevent cancer but also to treat cancer for example uh, human papilloma virus vaccines uh, is used to prevent uh, cervical cancer hepatitis b virus vaccine uh, helps to prevent liver cancer cipulucil t used to treat uh, prostate cancer tvec is used to treat melanoma so monoclonal antibodies are basically man made versions of immune system proteins so they can be very effective in treating cancer because they are designed to attack certain parts of cancer cells for example cetuximab is one of the monoclonal antibody used to treat head and neck cancer colon cancer bevacizumab is one of the monoclonal antibody used to treat colon cancer ovarian cancer etc so this is a very specialized cancer treatment where uh, these viruses are used which are specially modified in lab to uh, infect cancer cell and to kill cancer cells so most cancer patient tolerate immunotherapy very well side effects are very minimal uh, usually patient might have a weakness tiredness body ache uh, but the side effect are quite less compared to other conventional therapy like chemotherapy when happens side effect can affect any organ of the body and cause inflammation of those organ the commonly affected organs are lung bowel and pituitary gland that's all for today thank you for listening